This is Hadley's office. Let's see. Found it. No. Laboratory. That's where they took Adana. I have to find her as soon as I can. Subjects 4 and 7 are reacting badly to the treatment. Eric Ross and Seth Aguera. So I noticed. It's something we see often with heavy users of psychoactive drugs. Their cellular structures are weakened even before the treatment. So when we inject the serum, the metamorphosis is quicker and notably more painful. This is where those monsters were developed. Motherfuckers. That girl who was here earlier. I just wish we would have had more time to study her. Hmm. Indeed. Her cellular structure was fascinating, wasn't it? What a pity. Well, it's not a total loss. We've still got the other one. She's old and has already gone through her first change, but still. Better than nothing. They have no limits.
I picked up your scent from down the corridor. You're like me, aren't you? Who are you? My name is Onawa. I am the pack leader of the Red Talons. And who are you? Onawa. I've read Indrin's reports about you. My name is Kahal. I've heard of your tribe. Wild, ancestral, solitary. Hard to believe Endrin could get their hands on the leader of such a renowned tribe. Endrin. They set up their factory and their pipelines in the territory of our cairn. We pushed them back for months. But that whore with the mechanical arm she showed up out of nowhere and managed to drive us into a corner. We had little choice. I gave myself up in exchange for the lives of my people and an end to the slaughter. Tank Girl tried to destroy my cairn as well. I killed her. Good. I hope you made her suffer. I take it they captured you after you were finished with her. No. They took Adana, my daughter. They brought her here. I came to get her back. Adana's your daughter, is she? I met her. They had her locked up in the cell next door. I was their first subject, but I didn't give them the results they were hoping for. Whatever they are doing, I think it is linked to our first change. Adana hasn't gone through her first change. Their tests on her came back positive. They took her off to Endrin's headquarters. To do what? I do not know. Take me with you. All that awaits me here is death. Good work. Now, follow me. This door leads into an underground parking garage. Steal a truck. We'll need one to get to my can. There are guards. For Mori, I can feel it. And I am in no state to help you. You've got to do it alone.
time to move. So, Gaul, what are those outsiders doing in my territory? It's not just Endrin spreading across my territory. We have been invaded. Ava and her Lambda Mankind. I know them. The Red Talons do not like humans. And there is only room for one pack here. The humans are with us. They're fighting for Gaia. Humans are the reason we need to fight for Gaia. We should have snuffed them out at the dawn of their existence. These humans are on our side. And we have no intention of settling here. We'll leave as soon as we've managed to rescue my daughter from Endrin HQ. So... You intend to fight, Endron? We could use your help. No. We have already lost too many. We will not join you. However... I will clear your path. My wolves tell me they have already attacked your people. Those attacks will end. You may operate on our land with impunity. At least, until you finish your business here. Stay longer, and there will be war. Go now, and pay your respects to our guardian spirit. Pachua tells me that he is waiting for you. Freed Onawa. You, reek of human, warrior of Gaia. For what purpose do you enter my territory? I'm fighting for Gaia. To drive Endrin and the Worm from this territory. Is that so? Or are you pursuing an aim that is more... personal? Are you truly worthy of my confidence? Can you even still call yourself Warrior of Gaia? And now... You fight beside humans. Beside the enemy. Not all humans are servants of the Worm. But all are blind. They will never understand the wild, or the worm. They try. 
try to apply the order of the Weaver to everything, Gaia included. They will never admit that Gaia is a wild, uncontrollable entity, and that she demands sacrifice. The Gaia you speak of is a stranger to me. Neither my people nor the spirits we protect see her as such. You dare to question me? Have you any idea to whom you speak? I have served Gaia and the Wild since time immemorial, long before your pack or your pathetic spirits. They are all weak, easily swayed by the call of the worm. I do not yield as the worm encroaches on my territory, but face it head on. Yet it still spreads everywhere around you. Only your cairn seems to remain untouched. Our cairn is all that matters. And we are ready to make what sacrifices we must to maintain it. Onawa has taken that role upon herself, but she may not be the last. Now go, pursue your quest. I shall judge your worth. What is it? I sense the worm is spreading through your territory. Is there nothing you can do? If I let my wolves leave the cairn, they'll attack your people. I assume you would rather we avoid that. You, however, there are numerous shrines to Pachua in the area around the cairn. They have gone abandoned for far too long. Find these shrines. Pay homage to Pachua. Give him your strength, and he will take care of the worm. I'll see what I can do. Feel the hate that flows through her and her guardian spirit. Ava, can you hear me? Oh, there you are. Head to our bay. We set it up near the road leading to Indran territory.
old abandoned mine. Ava just told me about it, Donna. I'm so sorry, Cahal. We'll get her back. How did you manage to get out of prison? Pretty simple. Ava sent Viridian State a transfer order for me, complete with an Endron seal of approval. During the transfer, Lambda Mankind attacked my convoy, and the rest is history. I'm sorry. I really tried, but... I'm just busting your balls, man. You were there to save your daughter, I get it. Besides, at the end of the day, I'm out of prison. Thank you for your help in the prison. You took big risks for me. You can thank me when we've got your daughter back, but just remember, my favorite way to be thanked is cold, hard cash. Lest I forget. I'll catch you later. We're on the same side, and the Red Talon's still. Ava said they're a different pack than the Gahal. ones at Tucker's Mill. But you're alone. I'm sorry, Ava. They'd already moved Adana out of the prison by the time I got there. Dusk told me. Do you know where they've taken her? Endrin's Nevada HQ. That's what the leader of the Red Talons says anyway. The Red Talons? Those fuckers have been attacking my people since we got here. Rest assured, they won't attack you again. I freed their leader from Endrin's grip. They captured another Garu? They were experimenting on her before they captured Adana. Apparently my daughter makes a better test subject. Those fucking bastards. We'll save her. I promise you. The leader of the Red Talons agrees to hold back her wolves until we get Aidy back. But she's not going to help? I think she's using us. We take the risks, she reaps the benefits. At least they'll leave us alone. I'll take it, but have you seen the wall that protects those Indran outposts? It's surrounded by a minefield. Nobody here can get through their defenses. Only you. So what have you got in mind? I've been working on it for a couple of days, but I think I figured out how to deactivate their landmines and get you into an evac duct. It'd be too small for a human, of course, but a wolf could get through. Get to the other side and take care of their outposts. Deal with the men guarding the terminals in each outpost and connect me. Once I'm on their network, I'll be able to clear you a path through the maintenance zone. It's the quickest way into Entrin HQ. Go see Declan. He'll tell you how to get past the minefield. <laughs>